Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another video. I paid £330 for this PlayStation 5 Disc Edition and today we're going to try and fix it. So you might be thinking first of all that that is incredibly high for a faulty item and yes normally I would agree, however these are averaging around about the £300 mark on eBay as faulty as it is and this comes with two controllers. So Basically, the fault that's been listed with this is that the seller bought a PlayStation 5, sent it back to Sony under warranty because it kept shutting down after uh, a couple of hours, and then basically this one's doing the same after a couple of months. But because their original warranty has expired, Sony won't help them. Now, there's something that you have to kind of take into account there, and that is that two PlayStation 5s within a year are doing the same thing. Essentially, what that told me was that this was just overheating. And I have already looked inside and it's absolutely disgusting, to be honest. So it does make me question where this is being kept. It's very, very dirty inside. But apparently it turns on and works and it works for a couple of hours. Unfortunately, I don't have a couple of hours to test it. You know, I can't just sit here for two hours playing games. I don't have time. But that's telling me that this is potentially a uh, just an overheating issue and that it's just going to need a really good service so that's going to be the plan for this video hopefully i'm going to turn it on first to make sure it works and things but it, like i said it did come with two controllers as well and they seem to work fine so yeah i have tested those on my own playstation 5 and there's no issues with those so i'm happy with those and yeah i'm happy with how much i paid for it to be honest because i can easily get 5 to 550 for this at this time of year um, it's December the 16th, no, is it 16th or 15th? Might be the 15th, I don't know, either way. But <laughs> it's mid-December, so people are obviously after these for Christmas. So that's why I'm taking advantage of buying as many PlayStation 5s as I can, while I can, because I know I can sell them quite easily. I've already sold a few over the past couple of weeks, and uh, yeah, they're just flying off the shelves. So hopefully I can get this one working properly and then be able to sell it and make a profit. But with that being said, if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, I would really appreciate it if number one, you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. That way you don't miss any future videos. And number two, give me an early thumbs up because if you don't, I'll be sad and then I'll cry or something. I don't know. But either way, yeah, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos and turn on the bell notifications as well. If you do want to support me, number one, I run a shop, an online shop, that is, uh, so you can buy used parts for PlayStation 5s, um, Xbox Series Xs, uh, all of the last-gen consoles and current-gen consoles, as well as some odd parts for MacBooks and things. I do buy a few laptops and things, and if I can't fix them, I'll sell the parts. So consolefix.shop, you can buy stuff from me. And also, that's where... Freaking fly. Ha! Caught it. No, no. Go away. Get over there. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> that fly's been doing my head in for two days. But, yeah. Next time I'm going to hurt it. I ain't scared. <laughs> yeah, consolefix.shop. You can check me out over there if you want to buy some stuff from me. If I get this console working, that's where this will be listed. I have actually got a 4.5 One PS5, which is um, early firmware. And, um, yeah, I don't need to mention what you can do with that. If you're interested in a 4.51 uh, PS5, I've got one on my online store. So check that out. And also, you can head over to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking an Amazon Prime account, and then you can support me absolutely free. It does massively help me out. So with that being said, let's get into this repair. All right, so first things first, I'm going to just test and make sure that it's as described and that it turns on. We do need to make sure it turns on first because otherwise it has to go back. And then I'll, just, I'll have just wasted 10 minutes doing the intro. But you can even see here, this is why I looked inside because you can even see here. I mean, I haven't actually gone inside. I just took this plate off. But you can see here, I mean, it's obvious what's wrong with this. And you could see that that was evident in the pictures as well. Okay, it turns on. Do we get a free disc? Nah, never mind. Oh, well, so I'll just make sure it boots up. And I'll make sure it actually goes onto the dashboard. Yes, it does. Not enough space in console storage, 5 gig required. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's do a few basic tests on it then, just to make sure everything's working as it should be. So I'll just connect up a controller to the front USB port and just make sure it actually syncs a controller. 
And yes, it does. Okay. A lot of games on this. Ah, this is why it's not working. Mm, yeah, I know why it's not working. They're a freaking FIFA player. Yeah, that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, quite a few games on there. But we're going to factory reset this anyway. Let's just have a look at the firmware. It's on 6.02. That's fine. So that'll just get sold as a normal console then. So we just turn on, it seems to work. Let's just pop a test game in and make sure that works. And just to troll the FIFA players. I'll use FIFA 2. 2? I'll use FIFA 22 as a test game. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> anyway, let's pop this in. Okay, that disk drive might need to come apart. It struggled a little bit. Oh, it hasn't even got FIFA 22 on here. Damn it. Okay, well, there you go. I do actually use FIFA games as test games because they end up really, really cheap. They go to like, you know, five, ten pound a game. And it's nice and cheap for me to have a test game. But yeah, that's working. So if I take this disc out, you'll see what I mean. Oh, okay, it comes out okay. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. All right, never mind. It's fine. But yeah. I use FIFA 22 as a test game because I'm a gangster. <laughs> anyway, I was actually using that as a test game before FIFA 23 was out. That's how I get down. All right, shut that down. So I'm going to wait for this to completely shut down. I press and hold the power button. Never pull the power out. You can potentially brick the console. If that starts doing an update and I don't realise and then I pull the power out, that console bricked. Let's get it apart then. And I have seen as well, the warranty sticker hasn't been removed in this, which is great news. It means no one's messed with it. But to be honest, from the listing and based on the fact that it was a private seller, I didn't expect it to be messed with. All right, let's have a look. Wait, what? Travis did it? Really? Travis, dude, come on, man. Stop breaking consoles, Travis. For those of you that don't know, Travis is a very good friend of mine and we blame him for everything. So, remember, Travis did it. We love him, really. But yeah, you can see here, this, this, isn't, this hasn't been faked or anything like that. I've literally just opened this up, took a quick look at this, uh, or taken a quick look at this, and uh, yeah, it was like that. So I left all that as it was. You can see the warranty stickers on there. I mean, I have actually got fake warranty stickers, but yeah, I haven't. I promise you I haven't took it apart. This is the furthest I've gone, is to open it up, look at that, and then stick that sticker there. All right. So, let's get down to business. So, question number one, and I promise if this has got one, <laughs> it's genuine. But, question number one, has it got a free SSD? Because one day, I am going to find a free SSD. Someone is going to be foolish enough to leave one in here. I'll buy enough PS5s. The odds are in my favour, okay? The odds are in my favour. Is that... Ah, oh, <laughs> no. All right, never mind. Seriously, the odds are in my favour. One day, someone is going to leave one in. And if you can hear bo dogs barking in the background, I apologise. It's not my dogs. I don't, I don't have dogs. They always seem to bark when I film a video. Maybe it's a sign. Let's do a dust collection, shall we? Let's see just how much dust is going to be in this thing, because this is ridiculous. So I will say as well that, well, this is going to be more like a guide on how to clean your PS5, I suppose, because, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any kind of soldering involved in this unless we find any liquid damage inside, but, yeah, I will say that, no, we're not going to find any cockroaches in here. Uh, we don't generally get cockroach infestations in the UK. Uh, or you don't, I don't think I've ever seen... A cockroach infestation. I think the only thing, the closest I've seen to that is going to be uh, spiders and things like that on consoles I've found on the scrap. You know, stuff like that is normal if you find it on the scrap, but we don't generally get cockroach infestations. I do get a lot of people ask me when I deal with something this dirty, 
Have you ever come across one with cockroaches in? And no, I haven't. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad. I'm certainly glad that we don't have any cockroach infestations in these. And I'm glad that we don't have to deal with them. All right, so I'm just going to put parts to one side for now. So apparently this is now out of warranty. But that is absolutely disgusting. Why am I putting my screws there? They're meant to be there. All right. Let's break the warranty seal. There we go. That, I think, is a genuine sticker. Uh, I do sell those stickers on my store, by the way. But, yeah, that is just... Yeah, it's ridiculous. This is absolutely caked inside. I can see it now. It's absolutely caked inside. Wow. This is definitely going to go down as the worst PS5 I've come across so far in terms of dust. Let's start a dust collection just off to the side here. I'll show you how much we end up with. I think I'm going to need to open the disk drive up as well, to be quite honest. That is a lot of dust. Alright, so I'm going to remove all of these 64 screws, I think it is. Uh, or it might be 64 in total. But... I'm going to remove all these screws, so I'm going to fast forward through this. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this. But while you're there, you may as well check out my Patreon page while you're waiting for me to do this. There'll be a link in the video description, of course. So, yeah, cue inspirational love music. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> There we go. There's all the screws removed. So, let's just try and carefully remove this Wi-Fi antenna without damaging the stickers, if we can. There we go, because now we can put it back together properly without this flapping in the breeze. Oh, I always forget a screw, always. God damn it. All right, there we go, okay. So, oh wow, that's a very conservative amount of viscous paste, Sony. Hmm. I feel like there should be more than that on it. I mean, I worked on a board last night with way more than that on it. I've got a feeling we're going to get a big dry spot when it comes to the liquid metal. All right, moment of truth. What does the liquid metal look like? Oh, that's got a bit of pressure on it. hate doing this when you release that pressure for the first time yep we've got a bit of a dry spot there just in the middle of the die not too bad but yeah a little bit of a dry spot and that's the problem with these sometimes the liquid metal ends up seeping and running down the side and stuff Alright, so let's remove the bottom plate. I want to try not to get too much dust all over my bench. But this is absolutely caked inside and I'm going to have to take it all apart. Mm, bit of a scratch on that. I'll try and remove that later. I don't have any anything I can clean it off with. More dust for the collection. Of course I knock a tray of screws everywhere, damn it! I just put a bunch of screws from another PS5 in a tub because I wanted it to look like my desk was actually clean <laughs> and I've just knocked it over. Oh well. Right, are you ready? I'm not. Ugh, what am I doing? Might help if I actually took the screws out. Okay, now it's just dropped. Don't get those screws mixed up with these uh, other thin ones, by the way. 
So you've got some here, which go in the other side, and they are different. But too many times I see people lung screwing it and putting the wrong lung screws in. See? Don't get them mixed up. Oh wow, it's just falling out now. Good God, that's a lot of dust. Wow. That is an awful lot of dust. Jesus. How has that happened after a few months? Honestly, like... If what they're saying is true, that, we, that they returned it under warranty and then just after the warranty period ended, like that's no more than probably three or four months worth. I think they might need to clean up a little bit. Because that's just ridiculous. I don't want to judge, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of dust. Now it looks beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's a new console. I'm going to sell this as brand new. <laughs> that looks absolutely beautiful now. Let's get rid of that. Just look at that. Fantastic. Hmm. How did that happen? My ribbon cables cat. Uh, did come disconnected. It's a good job I noticed that now. There we go. It is a good job I noticed it now though. Perfect. Alright, let's just sort out the liquid metal. So to do that, what I usually do is use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab to just group up the liquid metal, move it all into the middle of the console and then I can re-spread it out once the heat sink and the APU are clean. So realistically you shouldn't need to actually replace the liquid metal, you should just be able to group it up. So a bit of isopropyl alcohol, dunking my cotton swab and then you'll notice that what will happen is it will all group up into a ball. So if you try and do it this side Oh, okay, it groups up into a ball that side. But it soaks into the uh, the fibres. Usually don't group up like that. But now I'm trying to show it, of course it's going to group up. It's sod's law. 
but it does make it easier and at the same time what I can do then is once I've grouped it all up I can clean off the heatsink and APU die properly so this will sort of like oxidize but as soon as it dries it will go back to normal so I can just clean it all around the die you'll notice it will push off and it will just stay in a ball which is why I do it this way and that's why I don't need to replace it I can just move it around uh, there you go now it's starting to now it's starting to dry up or rather now the liquid metal is starting to dry up you see try and uh, stay in one place or spread itself out so this side of the cotton swab will soak up the rest of the IPA that's in there and then the liquid metal will go back shiny again and you can just spread it out eventually it'll start to take to the die here we go and three two one there we go now it's starting to take and now it'll spread out nice and evenly shouldn't need to add any liquid metal to it it should be more than enough in fact i think so when you put too much on if you ask me I think when it comes from factory there's too much liquid metal on there a lot of the time I end up taking some off and honestly I don't get them coming back but that's what I mean by the fact that it soaks up into the foam did I say foam then I meant fibers all right let's pretend I said fibers all right, I'm gonna do the same for this so soak that up or rather soak the cotton swab and then just start to group it up so you can see there is a bit of a dry spot in the middle you see that there so that's probably why it's overheating I've just noticed something in this, look at this is that a scratch or what? Because I haven't done that, but that looks nasty. Oh, I really hope that's just a little scratch. Because I haven't dropped the board or anything, it's been in the same place. I hope it didn't do that when I took the board out. I'm going to be pretty pissed if I did. But I've never had that happen to me before. No one worried. <laughs> Genuinely, no one worried. That don't look good. If this don't turn on now, I'm not even going to attempt to repair it. That don't look good at all. Seriously. I'm going to have to check that before I go any further, because otherwise I'm just wasting my time. Oh, man. Oh, I hope that's just a scratch. It looks like a scratch. I don't know how it would have got a scratch in it, but... It hasn't moved. Please don't be short. <sighs> it's just a scratch. That worried me, honestly. It's got to be a manufacturer defect. The board hasn't moved. It's been in the same place since I started working on it. Um, I'm going to turn this off before it ends up overheating. In fact, it just has overheated. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, that kind of worried me a little bit there, I'm not going to lie. I actually thought I damaged it. Yeah, so it's rebooting itself, which is normal. It did just overheat. Uh, that was because the APU clamp wasn't on. Alright, time to start getting this back together. So, cue inspirational rock music? I don't know. Can you get inspirational rock music? Probably not.
and we are done there we go that is looking beautiful nice and clean make sure it still turns on and i'll make sure it displays as well and then we'll call it good yes indeed it does let's just make sure the disc still loads yes it does there we go there we go so this is going to get an extended test but based on what i saw that's all that's going to be wrong with this it was just incredibly incredibly dirty so yeah that was a lot of dust probably going to go down as the worst ps5 i've seen so far in terms of how dirty it is but hey ho freaking flies i let that thing go earlier yep no you yeah serves you right ha <laughs> anyway uh, that hurt my hand ow um yeah probably gonna go down as the worst ps5 i've seen so far in terms of dust but hey ho these things happen so yeah not a bad boy i couldn't fix a console yesterday but that come with a base stand so i'm gonna put that with it and i'll also put a box with it i've got a few boxes laying around so i'll put a box with it i'll put a base stand with it one of the, the controllers is going to go with it and this will be sold as a fully working console i am going to do some extended tests like i said but I'm pretty confident it's going to be fine. So that's going to be for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I always do my best to read and reply to all comments. So with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.